Hi, I'm at the Phoenix Zoo in Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, I think you and I should learn about some animals today. Let's go. Do you see that? That is a howler monkey. Yeah, do you see it? Yeah, right there. That is Bilbo, named after Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> That's funny. Let's act like monkeys together. That's Lulu the rhinoceros. And Lulu is 21 years old. <laughs> yeah, Lulu, party! Yeah! <laughs> That's a toucan. Did you see its big beak? Kind of looks like a banana. Let's check out another animal. Oh, whoa, look at this. Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a tiger. Whoa, hello kitty. <laughs> whoa, come over here, turn around. Whoa, this is where the tigers live. Hey, and look at who it is over here. Looks like we're getting ready to do some training. See that? The tiger is doing exactly what he's saying. It looks like they're having so much fun. Target. Target. Ooh, that was really cool. Did you see that? Hey, will you tell us why we just did that? Yeah, so uh, we train our animals so that um, they have the opportunity to make things easier for them and the staff. Mm -hmm. So we don't train our animals to do tricks, um, we do what we call behaviors. So for example, when I was having Jay target his nose to the end of this pole, um, it allowed me to move him to different positions so I could see different parts of his body. Um, having him stand up is not only impressive to see how big a tiger is, um, but it gives me the chance to see his underside. Because just like us, they can get injuries like cuts and bruises. So it lets me check up on his body to make sure he's still feeling good. Ooh, well thank you so much for showing me what you just showed me. You're very welcome. All right, see you later. Thanks. <laughs> let's go see some more stuff. Do you see that animal? It's another cat. This is a jaguar. Whoa. I have a pail of carrots and some tongs. And we just got told we need to feed the next animal. Come on. Whoa. Hey, check it out. These are cables that you have to be on this side of them. But we just got permission to head inside so we can feed the animals. Let's go. Okay, this is a short barrier. Interesting. 
That wasn't too hard to get in. Oh, I see the animal, look. Let's go through the trees. Whoa, hey look, look at the animal. We get a feed, check it out. Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a tortoise. Let's feed the tortoises, yeah. Check this out, this is a carrot and I'm using tongs because tortoises have really strong jaws. It might bite my finger off. Here you go. Whoa, oh, whoops, it slipped. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa, okay, would you like a little bit more? Yeah, okay, here you go. Oh, there you go. Whoa, this tortoise is about 550 pounds. Whoa, that is really heavy. Hey, and guess how old he is. Oh, he's 66 years old. Whoa, that's really old. Oh, hello. Hey, check this out. I'll pet this tortoise's head. Hello. How are you? Whoa! Whoa! Look! The tortoise is off the ground. Do you see that? Because that allows for all the bugs and everything to get away from its underneath area. Whoa! Okay, let's go get some more carrots. Whoa! Hello! How are you doing? Are you having a good day? Ooh, check it out. See this tortoise? This tortoise is a Galapagos tortoise, and it's a female. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, and here comes the male. Whoa, do you see how big he is? Oh, I'm getting trapped. Okay, I'm gonna loop right around here. See how this one's a little smaller? And this one is bigger? Whoa, this is a female. And this is a male. Whoa, hey, do you two like each other? Yeah, you two look like your friends. <laughs> oh, would you like some more? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Good job. Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> hey, come a little closer. Okay, here you go. All right. Eee, open wide. Here comes the carrot. Whoa. There you go. Is that yummy? Hey. Tortoises like carrots just like how I do. And carrots are nice and healthy. There you go. Whoa. You have a big mouth. <laughs> Whoa, look, I'm giving this tortoise a scratch, see? How does that feel? Does that feel good? Yeah. Do you see how the tortoise is standing on its legs really high in the air? In the wild, they do this because a lot of times they have bugs underneath them. And this allows for the finches, which are birds, go, go, to fly underneath there and then eat all of the bugs underneath this tortoise. Yeah, but for now, he's standing on his legs because this feels really good. It's kind of like when a grown-up gives you a back scratch. Yeah, I like when my mom gives me a back scratch. Yeah, how does this feel? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay. My turn. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh no. Ooh, check this out. This is an armadillo. Okay, here you go. Run free. Oh, look. An armadillo is one of the ambassador animals at the zoo. That means it's an animal that you can meet face to face. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? 
You want a treat? Armadillos love mealworms. Here you go. Uh-oh. Hey, come right over here. There you go. Look, doesn't this armadillo look hard? Yeah, it is kind of hard. And it's not a shell. It's bone inside the armadillo's skin. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is Princess Buttercup. Ooh, all right. Here you go. Here you go, Princess Buttercup. Ooh, look at Princess Buttercup's pretty little nails. Whoa. Okay, run free. Animal. What kind of animal is this? This is an Indian crested porcupine. Whoa! Look at all of its spines. Are those spines? The big ones are just to make her look scary, but the dangerous ones are down by her tail. Oh, okay, down there. Whoa. And what is she doing right now? We're just enjoying some snacks. Ooh. She likes a lot of plants, so we've got her some biscuits, some yam, and some apple today. Ooh, that sounds pretty tasty, actually. Ooh. Let's take a closer look at the porcupine. Wow, you don't want to touch this animal on its tail. <laughs> This next area is really cool. Whoa, do you hear that? All these things are working really hard to keep this next area exactly like how the ocean is. Come here. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, there's so many filters and, and other things. It's so cool. Okay, come over here. Let me show you what it's doing. Yeah, this is Stingray Bay, and they're training the stingrays to do some pretty cool tricks. If you come to this zoo, you can use a flat, gentle hand and touch the stingrays on their back. But they're letting me go inside. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, first, I need to take off my shoes. One shoe. Whoa, two shoes. Okay, let's put those there. Can't forget about the socks because I'm gonna put these on. Whoa, they're like water socks or water shoes. Okay, let's put them on. All right, okay, okay, <laughs> I'm ready, here we go. You have to be nice and smooth and slow so you don't scare them. Oh, oh the water's nice and cold. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Mary, and this is Kelsey. We work here at the Phoenix Zoo. Ooh. So what are you doing right now? So right now we're giving breakfast to our stingrays, and we're checking them to make sure everybody's healthy and happy this morning. Ooh. That sounds like fun. Can I help? Sure. Would you like to feed some? Ooh. Yeah. Let's feed the stingrays. Okay. So Look at them. They, they have <laughs> shrimp and smelt. So you can take a Ooh. couple and you can put it in your hand. Okay. Check out the food. Whoa! It looks so tasty. Okay, I put it in my hand. You're gonna hold it like an ice cream cone. Okay. Ooh, I like ice cream. <laughs> okay, just like that. Put it nice and deep into the water. They're gonna swim over your hand and they're gonna suck it out of your hand like a vacuum. Okay. Okay, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look at that one. So you got a uh, blue spotted ribbon tail sitting on your feet. <laughs> okay. Do I go deeper in the water? 
Let's see what we can do. Oh, there Come you on, go. guys. Oh, I did it. Look, it's gone. <laughs> it sucked it right out of my hand. Can I do it again? You can. not yeah. oh. oh, thank you. <laughs> they suck the food right out of my hand. It's kind of like, have you ever put a vacuum on your hand and then the vacuum sucks on your hand? That's kind of how it feels like when it's sucking the food out of your hand. Whoa, <laughs> that one just swam through my legs. <laughs> Whoa, look at them. So they're getting used to you now. So they can yeah. feel who you are by your heartbeat. Okay. They're understanding that you're not gonna hurt them and so they're coming closer and closer. As they're getting more and more comfortable with you. Yep. Look at him. Hello. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that scared me. What happened there? They just got a little bit excited. Okay. Excited, not scared? Yeah. Okay. Because I kind of got scared. <laughs> but that's okay. They kind of seem really gentle. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. There they go again. <laughs> Look at how wet I'm getting. <laughs> All right, let's feed some more. Hello, look at all of these stingrays. Whoa. <laughs> all right, bye-bye stingrays. Ooh, now we're gonna take a camel ride. <laughs> Have fun, Flippy. Thank you. Look, this is the top of the camel. See the hump? I'm gonna sit on top of it. Whoa! Now I'm on top of a camel. Okay, here we go. Check it out, whee! I'm on the hump of the camel. Whoa, this is a nice camel. This is a dromedary camel. It's really high up here. Whoa, <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Wee! hello. the hump of the camel, they store fat in here. And they can actually go about seven months without eating food. Or three to four weeks without drinking any water. That's pretty impressive, huh? Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! some pretty long legs, huh? And it has four legs. And you and I have two. Whoa. All right, this is pretty fun. Whoa, <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, okay, let's go see some more animals. Ooh, now we're behind the scenes of the Native Arizona exhibit. Ooh, check it out. Look, some tools. Hey, what does this look like? Kind of looks like a golf club. <laughs> but actually, see how it has a hook? It's used to handle certain types of reptiles, like a snake. Okay, but I'm not gonna use that because I'm not a trained professional. Ooh, check it out. Wow, some aquariums. <laughs> the fish are on the other side. We're behind the scenes. Whoa, look at this room. Whoa, this is a box. And this is where a snake lives. Let's read what kind it is. Rattlesnake. Venomous? <gasps> oh, okay, I don't think I should handle that one. Cause like I said, I'm not a trained professional. <laughs> Let's find a snake that I can handle. Oh, this room's pretty cool. Whoa, 
There's so many cages right here. Whoa, what are these? These are snake sheds. Wow, every snake sheds its skin every couple months. Look at that, and they're all in one piece. Look, doesn't that look like a snake? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Okay, okay, I'll keep these right here. Okay, yeah, this one looks like a good snake to handle. I'm handling a snake. Whoa, and look at the color of this snake. It's orange and white and black. Whoa. I used to be afraid of snakes when I was a child, but now I'm not. But some snakes you definitely don't want to hold. So if you ever see a snake in the wild, just to be safe, you probably shouldn't try and hold it like this. Okay, whoa. Look, are you having fun, snake? Whee! Hello! Hey! Whoa, look at it! Whoa! It's so intrigued with the camera! Whoa! Whoa! This is awesome! We're behind the scenes of another reptile area. Whoa, there's so many cool tanks in here with so many unique creatures. Whoa! <laughs> hey! Whoa, look right here. Oh, hey! There's someone over here. Come here! Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Just getting ready to check out one of our horned lizards. Do you want to hold him? Yeah! A horned lizard? That's cool. Okay. Just like... Okay, thank you. Whoa, look! This is a horned lizard. Check out its horns. Wow. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, and he's just hanging out. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, there you go. That was awesome. Good job. Let's go. My height. Hello, hello. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. A lion? Mm -hmm. Ooh, an elephant. <laughs> Whoa, look! <laughs> this is a gorilla. <laughs> and some snakes? Yeah, I gotta hold a snake. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Okay, follow me. Ooh, there's even a dinosaur. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Interesting. Well, hey, that was so much fun learning about animals with you at the zoo. This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you later. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And I was just making some sweet tunes with this bowl. Do you like that? <laughs> That's funny. But hey, today we're not gonna learn about tunes. We're gonna learn about, yeah, how to make clay. Yeah, look at it. Look at how many cool colors I have. Whoa, look. <laughs> so much fun to play with. Whoa, and you can roll it up and make things with it. Look, 
I just made a baseball. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's look at all the colors. We have orange, white, blue, purple, green, red, black, and light blue. Whoa. And today, yeah, you and I are going to make some of this. Yeah, and this recipe you can make at home with a grown-up. Yeah, and then after you make it, you can squish it nice and flat, and then you take some of these and and then you can cut it out. Whoa! And maybe we can spell some words together. Maybe we can make an airplane together. Whoa! This is going to be so much fun. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is have all the ingredients for this clay. Yeah, here we go. And I have my recipe right here. <laughs> First, we need a bowl. And what I would do if I was you, I would probably have a grown-up help you because this can get really messy and there's a lot of ingredients. Yeah, all right. So first, we need to start with one cup of flour. Whoa, okay, let's open this up. go and it doesn't need to be exact yeah that is one cup of flour here we go wow <laughs> wow that is a great base for the clay we're making okay all right let's see one quarter cup of salt all right it is definitely already getting really messy okay one quarter cup, and then we need to grab some salt. Here we go. Perfect. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Perfect. All right. Okay. Let me zip this back up. Yeah. And then we need one teaspoon of cream of Tartar. <laughs> what a silly name! <laughs> That's so fun! Cream of tartar! <laughs> one teaspoon. Oh, there's so many. Okay, here we go. Here's one. Here we go. And we're gonna mix all this up in a little bit. But for now, <laughs> let's pour all the ingredients in here. Then we have a half a tablespoon of oil. Okay, whoa. This is where it might get a little messy. Okay. Perfect. All right, put the lid back on just so it does not spill. That would be bad news, Barry. <laughs> okay, and then we have a half cup of H. H2O. Do you know what H2O stands for? Yeah! Water. I love water. All right, half of a cup. Perfect. All right. Oh, hey, look. I forgot to close up the flour. We should probably do that. All right, let's push all that stuff to the side because now we're ready to mix it up but what we need to do is put in some color and you can make any color you want but what we're gonna do although we already have a green color i think we should make another green but this one will be a little bit lighter so let's open this up add some green i don't know how much to add but that seems like quite a bit and then also, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Yeah, it's going to make it more of a, a bright green. Let's close that up. Whoa, that was a fun recipe to make. But now, <laughs> I got to mix it up. Whoa, it's looking so good. <laughs> wow. You see it? Whoa, 
All right, let me keep mixing it up. Wow, check it out. Wow, whoa, homemade clay. Wow, what a pretty green color we made. Good job. I wonder what color you're gonna make at home for your first color. So now what you can do with this, it's so much fun. You can actually smash it flat. Watch this trick. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> that's silly. Okay, let's peel it off. Wow, perfect. And then, now you can use these. Yeah, they're like cookie cutters, but these are definitely not cookies that we're making. I would not eat this, okay? All right, okay. Uh, yeah, remember that airplane? Check it out. Okay, now you push it down. Whoa, look. <laughs> Cut an airplane out. But first, let's push it out of here. Wow. Yeah, we did such a good job. Wow, okay, I'll put that airplane right there. Now, let's bring all the colors that we have out. And then, let's see what we can make together. Okay, so let's put that green back. And we have the airplane right there. What else? Oh, we have some letters. We have, ooh, a dog. Woof, woof. Will you act like a dog with me? Ready? Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> wow, <laughs> dogs are so cute. Okay, let's make a blue dog. That sounds pretty silly, doesn't it? Okay, you know what to do. Smash out your clay nice and flat. Oh, <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, push it down. All right, whoa, look at that. Whoa, pull the sides away. Wow, and now, oh, <laughs> that's silly. Look, what is that? Yeah, it's a little poochie. Woof, 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 woof. Okay, we'll save you. We'll put you right there. Perfect. All right. One pooch and one airplane. Huh? <laughs> Perfect. Oh, hey, I think we have some letters over here. We can spell something out. Okay. Looks like we have a B, a P, an I, an L. Huh. A B, a P, an I and an L. What word can you think that uses those letters? A B, a P, an I, and an L. Hmm. I know! Yeah, my name! <laughs> Blippi! Yeah, we can actually spell my whole name out just with these four letters. See, we would go like this. We would use a B, an L, an I, we would do two P's, and then we would use another I. Perfect. All right, let's do that. All right, first we need some colors. So let's use this blue color. Yeah, there we go. Let's do a B right there. Perfect. Whoa, this is gonna be so cool. Yeah. And if you use some of this at home, maybe you could spell your name. Okay, let's use some purple. All right, so we've got a blue B right here. 
Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, and then we have an L. All right, nice little L right there. Yeah. So a B, L, and then we need an I. How does that look? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. B L I. Yeah. B L I. What's the next letter? Yeah. P. And there's two of them. Let's use one of my favorite two colors. Yeah. The color orange. B L I. P, we need another P. We'll use the color black. <laughs> this is so much fun. It feels so cool on my hands. Ooh, another P. Yeah. So we got, here we go. We got B, L, I, P, P. What's the next letter? B, L, I. P, P, yeah, I, and let's use this bright red color. All right, here we go. B, L, I, P, P, I, here we go. Oh, how does that look? B, L, I, P, P, I, yeah, good job, all right. Okay, let's put these down here with the dog and the airplane. There we go. All right, now let's make one more thing. Huh, hey, well, since we have all these stencils and these cookie cutters, yeah, you could actually use a lot of them. You can make a star, you can make a heart, you could make, ooh, a butterfly, yeah. Or you could use some other tools. Yeah, like this spoon or this fork. And see, look at this. See, you can use the fork and yeah, act like you're in the garden. Do, 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 do. Yep, gotta make the soil nice and soft. So then you can plant some plants. Wow. <laughs> but I am definitely making a mess with all these small pieces. So look at this. This is a cool trick that I learned. See? You can actually pick up a lot of the pieces by smashing it. Yeah, it's kind of fun, huh? <laughs> okay, but watch this. Hey, we haven't used this color green yet. So, if you take the spoon and you scoop it, although it's a half of a circle, we go all the way around, you actually might be able to scoop a full circle. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Yeah, look, there we go. Whoa, look, <laughs> it's like a circle. Wow, <laughs> and then you can put it in your hands, roll it around. Yeah, look, <laughs> it's like a basketball. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was silly. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun making this clay with you. Did you have fun making clay with me? Yeah! And it was really fun, yeah, using those cookie cutters to cut out some of the clay into an airplane. Yeah. A doggy. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> and my name, Blippi. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B oh, L I P P I Blippi. All right. Thank you so much for being my friend. See you soon. Bye bye. Oh, hey. It's me, Blippi, and look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, 
You put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather? <laughs> Tickle. Or a rock? Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the rock is gonna be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah, do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa! That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Hey, okay. all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple and this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit. And I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow. <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah, the feathers were so big, and then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty, whoa, <laughs> light. <laughs> wow, see, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah, you're right. Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier then three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect, put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, all right, now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> We have a T-Rex. Ah, okay, you can stand right there. Oh, well, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys, yeah. This T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon 
compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense? Because they're actually going to be roughly the, the, no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay. All right. One quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and what? Perfect. Okay. Oh, got to set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect. There we go. Okay, gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now I'll do the water. Now, we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa. I don't want to spill. Ready? Ah, perfect. <laughs> okay. Stay nice and organized. Be sure to clean up. All right, now let me tie this. Okay, so we use the same amount a volume, one quarter cup of rice, one quarter cup of water. Okay, now we get to do the fun part. We get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense, which one is heavier. Ready? Yeah, the blue was rice. Whoa, rice is more dense than water. Whoa! Woo, 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 woo. Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah! Construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa! Huh. This excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy, let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah. That is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow tracked machine. Whoa. Found on mines, farms, and factories. Most anything Bulldozers stirring up debris Bulldozers help the farmers work By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer Some rough terrain. They can move all kinds of things. Bulldozer clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. Bulldozer clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand. Move over, it's about to roll. Bro, 
Bulldozer machine. Roll, roll on, bulldozer. Better move over, here comes the bulldozer. It's a yellow machine. Wood in the blocks, here we go. Go to the other side, dump them out. There we go. Two more blocks on this side. Hmm, let's see. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa, it for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up now. Whoa, look at this fire truck toy. <gasps> It has a gigantic ladder. <gasps> There's a real fire truck behind me. Let's put this fire truck toy away and check out some of the gadgets on the real fire truck. Can you hear me? This is Fireman Blippy. <laughs> hey, we're inside a real fire truck. I got my seatbelt on to keep me safe. I even got my headset so I can communicate with all the other workers. Oh, look over this way. That's where the driver sits and steers the fire truck with the steering wheel. Oh, check the back out with me. Yeah, look at all those seats. That's where the rest of the fire workers sit. And there's anywhere from three to six firemen in the fire truck going to the fire. <laughs> Let's check out some more of the fire truck. the base of the ladder on the fire truck and look way up there. Yeah, there's a real fireman. Let's get him to wave to us. Oh, he's so high up there. He's about 105 feet up in the air. Wow! Now it's about time for me to show you some of the tools and gadgets on a fire truck. Let's go. Whoa. Look, this right here, yeah, this is a hydrant wrench. You use this to open up the fire hydrant. And then uh, this is the stores wrench. Whoa, you use the stores wrench on the inlets of the fire truck. So then you can connect the hose to the fire truck and provide the fire truck with water. But in order to do that, you need hoses. Look up here. Whoa. That's a lot of hose. Okay. Now, let me show you some more cool gadgets of the fire truck. Wow, watch this. Whoa! Okay, we got a pickaxe, we got just a normal pick, and then, yep, 
You can't forget the snippers. <laughs> Ooh, watch this trick. <laughs> Whoa! Look at all these cool tools on the fire truck. <laughs> There's tools inside secret compartments that are inside secret compartments. Come back here. I forgot to show you something. Look at inside this little compartment. Whoa, it's a giant air tank. The firefighters use this to breathe air because you can't breathe in fire and smoke. But in order to use this, you need to wear a harness. Let's go try on a harness now. <laughs> We just got a fire call. Let's go put on our air pack. All right, this is our air pack. This is compressed air in this big bottle. And then this down here, this is my mask. So let me put it on. Tighten that up, and then you just buckle this in, kind of like a seat belt. Okay, and now you gotta turn on the air. Okay, and then let's put on the mask. Okay, now I'm breathing air from the air condenser pack back there. Now it's time to go fight some fires. See ya. <laughs> wow! Oh, you can't forget about the buttons. <laughs> this fire truck toy is so much fun. Thank you for learning about fire trucks with me. Blippi, B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job, now you know how to say and spell my name. If you wanna see more of my fun educational videos, be sure to click this big red button that says subscribe so you can see all of them. Or if you wanna see me play with this fire truck toy more, be sure to click that. So then, you can see my brand new channel where I play with toys. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be fun. Parents, if your child loves my videos, be sure to head over to blippy.com because as you know now, they can watch my videos for free on YouTube, but introducing, they can download them 
on their tablet, phone, or your tablet, or your phone, <laughs> and not use your data or your Wi-Fi, just in case if you're going on a long trip. <laughs> Who knows? All right, well, see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye. Come. Oh, hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, I'm at Chase Field. Yeah, this giant building. It's a baseball stadium, and this is the Diamondback Stadium. <laughs> and today, you and I are gonna learn about baseball. Come on! Ooh, I am so excited! Ooh, watch your step! Oh, whoa! <laughs> wow! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Hey, check it out! This is the dugout. This is where players hang out before it's their turn. You have to wait your turn. Whoa, look. <laughs> Let's clean off our shoes. <laughs> okay, come on. Whoa, look at this place. It's so beautiful. Whoa, and look up top. Whoa, do you see the roof? One side is closed and one side is open. They can close it if they want shade, and they can open it if they want sun. Pretty cool. Oh, come here. Whoa, look at this. This is a giant camera. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this camera is used to be able to see all the players really far away. The players in the outfield. The outfield. Whoa, look how far away it is. Whoa. And then the infield. Whoa, that's a lot of cool dirt. And over here. This is the batting circle. Whoa. This is where the players warm up and bat. Hi, Blippi. Hey. I'm Luis Gonzalez. Whoa. Luis Gonzalez? Do you play baseball? I used to play baseball. Now I win baseball. Oh, he win baseball. <laughs> Will you teach me some tips and tricks? Sure, let's go. OK, come on. OK, back to the dugout. Whoa. Pretty cool. Well, Blippi, to play baseball, you need a bat. Ooh, a bat. Check it out. <laughs> Pretty cool. And a helmet. Ooh, a helmet. Sweet. All right. A ball. Ooh, a baseball. Wow. And a glove. Ooh, and a glove. Ooh, pretty cool. Now what? Now let's go to the sandlot so you can play baseball. All right, let's go. You? Whoa! Whoa! What is this place? Well, Blippi, this is our sandlot. This is where we're going to teach you how to hit. Ooh! This is the sandlot, he said. It's a small version of the baseball field, and I'm going to learn how to hit. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, what do I do here? This is a T. Okay, a T. Huh. Now you grip the bat. Okay. No, not that way, Blippi. Okay. This way. Oh, okay. Put your hands together. All right. And now. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> we put a ball uh -huh. on the tee. Okay. For you to hit. Okay, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let me try again. Okay, put the helmet back on. Keep your eye on the ball, Blippi. Okay. Eye on the ball. Whoa! Yeah! Home run! <laughs> okay, that was so much fun. Thank Lippy, you. Looks like you're ready to play catch now. Ooh, catch. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. The mitt, the glove. Okay. Uh, let's take this off and let's put this on. No, okay. Blippi. The glove goes on your hand. Oh, the 
Love goes on my hand. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. I'm you ready. ready. Yep. Okay. Go out there. Okay. All right. You ready? You ready? Whoa! Oh, I missed. <laughs> okay. What did I do wrong? You have to try to catch the ball in your glove. Oh, the ball goes in the glove. Okay. All right. Let's try again. You ready? Yep. Nice. Oh, yeah. I did it. Whoa. That was awesome. Thank you so much for teaching me. Blippi, looks like you're ready for the big leagues. Oh, the big leagues? What does that mean? Where do I go? To the big field. Let's go to the cage and get ready. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, what is this thing? Hey, Blippi, this is the pitching machine. Ooh, the pitching machine? What does it do? It teaches you how to bat. Ooh, teaches you how to bat? How does it work? You put the ball in the machine. Whoa, that was cool. Will you do it again? Sure. Whoa, did you see that? When you put the ball right here, these spinny things throw it out really fast. And then, what do I do? You gotta go hit. <gasps> okay. All right, I'm ready. Okay, Blippi, here we go. Good job. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Get it. Yeah, get it. Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> Great job, Lippy. Yeah, thank you so much. You're ready for the big leagues. Woohoo! Alright, now what? Now it's time for cleanup. Clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up. Clean up, clean up. That sounds fun. <laughs> Clean up, clean up, clean up your stuff. Clean Whoa! Up, clean I hit so up, many baseballs. Okay, it's really important to be nice and organized and stay clean. And pick up after yourself. Whoa! Clean up, clean up, clean up your stuff. Your room looks quite a mess. Whoa! Look at all of these balls! That was so much fun. I kind of want to clean up again. Things and clean your room. Whoa! Hey, did you see that? That says the Sandlot. Oh, and check it out. The Sandlot is a place where kids just like you can play at the Diamondbacks game. Whoa! Whoa! This is awesome. Oh, hey, look. There's a Bobcat right here. Hello, Bobcat. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Ooh, and it's a slide. Check it out. Whoa! All right, here we go! Whoa! Whoa, that was fun! I wanna do it again! Whoa, all right, here we go! Whoa, this is cool! Here we go! Whoa! Whoa, and look! While playing, you can even watch the baseball game! Hello down there! Hello! Oh, that's awesome! Whoa, what is this? Whoa. Hello! <laughs> hey, what are you doing down there? Look, it's a baseball mitt. Yeah, a glove. Whoa. I got the ball. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna crawl through now. Hello! Hey! This is so much fun! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I am getting so tired with all this plane. Oh. Do you see what I see? Come here. Look. There's a bobcat over there. 
<laughs> Let's go meet it. Whoa, I am so excited. A real bobcat. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Whoa, look. Hey, how are you? On a hug. Whoa. This is Baxter, and Bax Baxter is the mascot for the Diamondbacks. Whoa, and what are you? Oh, this is a bobcat. Are you a bobcat? No. Meow. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, is this your house, Baxter? Whoa, it's really cool. Check it out. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, it's Baxter's mouse. Hello, where are you? Oh, I guess it's not here right now. Ooh, is the mouse your pet? Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Do you feed it cheese? <laughs> Mice love cheese. Oh, speaking of food, check it out. Is this your fridge? Ooh, this is Baxter's fridge. What's your favorite thing to eat in here? Ooh, <laughs> wow, yummy fish. So, fish, Baxter's mouth. Silly. Ooh, and here's a door right here. Ooh, does this go inside to your house? Whoa, pretty cool. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> hey, let me ask you a question. Do you like to dance? <laughs> awesome. Can I teach you the baseball dance? Okay, all right. So you act like you grab a bat, okay? And then you just dance. Yeah! Good job, Baxter! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What is this? Whoa. This is your bicycle? Whoa! This is Baxter's bicycle! This is really cool! Can you show me how to ride it? Okay! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay! Whoa! Oh, oh, whoa! Look at Baxter ride! Whoa! Okay, see you later! Bye bye! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Check out these seats! Whoa! There's so many seats in this stadium! Hey! I have an idea! Why don't we count them? Okay, let's start down here. Okay, let's count this row of seats. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Whoa, that's a lot of seats in this row. Okay, to find the total number of seats in this whole stadium, you just take this row and multiply it by the total amount of rows. Okay, let's see. Whoa, okay, it looks like there's 48,618 seats in this stadium. Yep, that's right, that's a lot of seats. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Baseball fields are so cool. Whoa, come here. That's a lot of grass. Whoa! Hey! Do you know one food that every baseball game has? <laughs> I'll show you. Yeah, it's over here. Oh, yeah, popcorn. Whoa, look at all of this popcorn. Whoa. Okay, let's go enjoy the game. Whoa, hey, 
I have another thing to show you. Come over here. Whoa. This is the Fox Sports Arizona set. Whoa. So cool. This is where they do their show at. Oh, look, a camera. Oh. Hey, come over here. Whoa. Hey. Hi What's there. your name? My name is Kate Longworth. Ooh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So what do you do? I'm a reporter. I go down and talk to the baseball players and then put it on TV so folks at home can see what they're doing. Whoa, what's that thing? This is a microphone. When I talk in here, it helps people at home hear me. Ooh, hello. Can you hear me? And <laughs> even when you whisper, they can hear you. Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, that's silly. Well, cool. Thanks for showing me your spot. Yeah, anytime. Stop by our desk and uh, I'll send you down to interview some players. <gasps> Ooh, cool. Hi. Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay, here, come over here. Whoa, look at this. A giant camera. Hey, what's your name? My name is Rusty. What do you do? I'm a cameraman. Ooh. I take videos of Kate and I take videos of the players when they're playing. Oh, really? <laughs> Here's a little tip. Be really nice to them because they'll make you look good. Oh, did you hear that? That's silly. Well, cool. Thanks for showing us your really cool camera, Rusty. Anytime. All right. Whoa, here's another person. Whoa, hello. Hey, what do you do? I'm in charge of our social media network, so everything they do on TV, we try to put on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Whoa, that's really cool. Hey, look, he's on his phone on the job. That's a no-no, unless you're him. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you. Oh, look, there's people up there. Whoa, there's so many people watching us film right now. Must be pretty nerve-wracking being on camera all the time. Well, it was in the beginning, but if you practice, it's really fun and you're not scared at all. Oh, okay. Practice makes perfect, I guess. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's like a miniature dog park here. Chase Field even has a place for dogs. <laughs> hey, you want to come in and meet Sadie? Whoa, come on in. Whoa, hey, are you Sadie? Hi, Sadie. Whoa, did you see how high Sadie jumped? Hey, Sadie, I'm Blippi. How are you? Are you having fun? Yeah, what's your name? Sarah. Ooh, this is Sarah and Sadie. Both of them start with the letter S. <laughs> okay, let's see you run around, Sadie. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's a really big jump. Whoa, good job, Sadie. Yeah. Oh, yes, can I say hello? Whoa, hello. Oh, baseball is so cool. Ooh, and this is really cool. This stadium even has a pool over there and a hot tub. Whoa, you can sit in these and watch the game. Whoa, it is so hot here in Arizona. Oh, hey, let's put our feet in the pool and cool down. Whoa. 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 Check it out. Look at the field. Look at how green the grass is. Oh, and there's people out there watering the grass. Hello. Whoa. Okay, follow me. Whoa, I am so excited. <laughs> I am so warm. This is gonna feel so good. Okay, first, let's take off our shoes. One shoe. And here is the second shoe. Check it out. One, two, because I have two feet. All right, okay. Oh, one stinky sock. Two stinky socks. Ooh, <laughs> because I have two stinky feet. <laughs> All right, let's roll up my pants. Perfect. Okay, now let's take a dip. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah, this feels so good. Oh, I hope someone hits a home run. <laughs> oh. Check it out! This 
This is a bullpen cart. It's pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. You can take players out to the field with these cars, and the stadium is so big, you can even get around with them super fast. All right, I gotta go get Dr. Evil now. I was just watching the players warm up. Whoa, pretty cool. Hey, check it out. Ooh, a playground. This stadium rocks. Whoa, come on. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, look. Whoa, we're so high in the air. What a great view. All right, now let me go down the slide. Okay, here I go. Whee! Whoa! Oh, hey, I'm just waiting for a churro dog. It's their specialty. Here you go, Flippy, enjoy. Ooh, thank you. Oh, check it out. It looks so yummy. Okay, let's go take a seat. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. They're warming up. Okay, let's take a seat. Oh, this seat looks good. All right. Whoa, look. The roof is closed. Remember earlier? It was open? Yeah. And all the players are warming up. Okay, this is the perfect time to try the churro dog. gonna be fun. This is so much fun being here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the field, and look at who's here. Whoa, a bunch of my friends. Wow, they're all so nice for coming. Some of them are even dressed like me. This is so cool. Whoa. Okay, I'm about to throw the first pitch. I need to put on my jersey. How do I look? <laughs> yeah, check it out. Okay. All right, we need to get ready. This is the exact ball I'm gonna throw. I don't know where to go. Gotta warm up. How do I look? Do I look pretty good? <laughs> I'm, I'm so nervous. I hope I make it all the way to the catcher. That was really good. Ooh, Baxter's gonna catch the ball. Okay, here we go. This is our time to shine.
learning about baseball with you. Did you have a lot of fun? Yeah! yeah! I did too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> all right. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>。and look at all the items that I have. Whoa! So many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippy Velocity Race. Yeah! That's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah, the beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> All right, let's put them on their side and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Wow, the half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah. It's because their velocity, yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down, the speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. 
Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Whoa! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah. Hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B L I P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs>
flippy flippy and I was just dancing. <laughs> but it's really hot outside. I wish I could take a break. Well, no time for breaks when you're dancing. It's a popsicle cart, and I love popsicles. I think you and I should get a popsicle. Let's go. Hey. Hi, Blippi. How are you? What's your name? I'm Julia. Oh. Would you like a handmade popsicle? Yeah, I love popsicles. What flavor do you have? This is cha-cha-cha. It's mango, pineapple, and chia seed. Ooh, that sounds so yummy. Mango, pineapple, and chia seeds. That is so yummy! <laughs> yeah, glad you like it. Do you want to come see how they're made? Yeah! That would be so much fun. Let's All right, go! Let's go! Welcome to my kitchen. Wow, look at this place. It's so cool! Thanks. Now, first thing, you need to gear up. Oh, check it out! This is an apron. Here we go. Wow. Okay, well, what do we have here? So these are all the ingredients we use to make our popsicles. Ooh, it looks like a bunch of fruit and vegetables. Yep, you got it. We actually use a lot of superfoods in our popsicles. So wow. you'll see kale and avocado and spinach and chia seeds. What's this? This is a coconut. Wow, that's cool. A coconut, well, cool. Well, what flavor are we making? I thought we could make Popeye. Popeye? Yeah! All right. Guess why I call it Popeye? Um, I don't know. Why? I use spinach. Okay. So here you go, hold the spinach. Ooh. I was making a batch earlier, so I thought we could just add to it. Okay, so here's some spinach, and what do you have? Strawberries. Strawberries. And to sweeten it, we use dates. Ooh, dates. <laughs> All right. Come on back. Oh, okay. So here's the batch I was working on earlier. Oh, look at it. Right. Oh, that looks yummy. Go ahead, let's add it in. Okay. Bye bye, spinach. <laughs> and then here are some strawberries. Ooh. And dates. Yum. Now, what might be different about your kitchen is we have some big equipment we use here. Really? <laughs> I'm excited. Whoa, look at that. That thing is massive. What does that thing do? This is our immersion blender. Wow. So you put it in. Whoa. You hit the button. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. There you go. So that just blends it up into yes. a liquid? It sure does. Wow, that looks so yummy. Well, now what do we do? Now we're gonna put it in our mold. Okay. And I'm gonna get my trusty pitcher. Ooh. Wow. All right. So it's basically three ingredients all blended up to make one yummy tasting liquid. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it in. Oh. And then you kind of just have to feed it through. Shake it around. Yeah. May I? Of course. Okay. Well, here's some more. Whoa! <laughs> we got some chunky ones in there. <laughs> That's okay. There's some more. Okay. And then next what we need to do is, we'll just put in our sticks. Ooh. Yeah, like a popsicle stick. Have you ever eaten a popsicle and you hold on to the piece of wood? Yeah, that's what we just put in there. So it makes them so handy. Okay. And now we put it into our extra special popsicle machine. Whoa, what does so, this thing do? It makes it super cold. It freezes a popsicle in 18 minutes. Wow, I'm so excited. I sure do love popsicles. Hey, check it out. Let's put it in. Whoa, so is that just really cold in there? Yes, it's actually made out of a special popsicle freezing liquid. Whoa, all I right. I can't tell you all my secrets. Huh. Well, maybe for later. Well, now what do we do? Well, usually when I wait for popsicles to freeze, 
I like to dance. Okay, let's go! Woohoo! what we have to work with. All right, you know what kind of fruit this is, right? Yeah, this is an apple. Okay, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, what are these? Check these out. Yeah, these are lemons. Lemons are the color yellow. Wow, and then we have some greens over here. Whoa, spinach. Wow. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> it's like hair. Whoa, whoa! This is kale. And kale is really yummy. <laughs> and it doesn't like containers. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, let's put these back in here so then we can continue to see what type of fruits and vegetables we have. Like this. Whoa! This is so heavy. Whoa! Whoa! Ugh. Yeah! This is a watermelon, and watermelons are so big and yummy. Do you know what color is on the inside of the watermelon? Yeah! Red! And the outside is green. Okay, just a couple more. Bananas and pineapple. Yum! Okay, so you can see we have this big bucket right here and we need to put a lot of the ingredients right in here. Can't forget about the strawberries. We'll start with those. Here we go! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, that kale. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's put some in there. <laughs> we are doing so good. Oh, apples. Okay, we could put the whole apple in there, but I think we should probably slice it. Have you ever had a slice of an apple? They're so yummy. Okay, here is our red apple slicer. And then put it right in the center, just like that. And then you push down. Whoa, look at that. That is awesome. Slice the apples, so then you pull them out and then you can put them right in our big bucket. Wow. And you keep the core, whoop. <laughs> you keep the core, which is the center, out of it, because there's a lot of seeds in there. Oh, speaking of seeds, watermelons have seeds. <laughs> okay, let's cut open the watermelon. Whoa. I'm gonna be very careful because I'm a grown up with this knife. Ready? Okay, here we go. Chop it in half, just like that. Flip it around. Wow, look at that. That looks so yummy. Our popsicles are gonna be so yummy. 
Okay. Um, I have an idea. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right. We have some bananas. Open those up. Here we go. Bye bye, banana. Woohoo! <laughs> and we'll do another banana. Yum! Here we go. <laughs> Yum! Look at it. Is that looking tasty or does that look tasty? <laughs> Whoa! And remember, we learned what fruit this is. Yeah, the coconut. All right, these are a little tricky to open, but it's worth the trouble. So let's take the coconut opener. I just want to drink it all up. Oh, okay. We'll put that in the bucket for the popsicles. Whoa! Oh, yum. Okay. Use this little coconut device and pull out some of the coconut meat. Yeah, right in there. Ooh, yummy. There we go. All right, perfect. Let's bring it right over here. Yum. All right. Oh, spinach right here. Woohoo! And then we have a bunch of grapes. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 grapes. All right. And then remember these, we used these earlier. These are dates. Here we go. Whoa! Okay, can't forget about the lemons. We have so many types of fruits and vegetables in here. Here we go. Wow. Okay, let's take these. Give a little squeeze. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, have you ever tasted a lemon before? Okay, let's try some. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's sour. Okay, let's wash our hands. And then, last but not least, we have a pineapple. We cut the pineapple just like that. And you see that yellow? That looks so yummy. So now we take this pineapple tool, put it right on top, and then give it a little twist. Wow, look at that. And then you pull it out. Whoa, check that out. And then Take it off, just like this. And that's gonna give it some nice sweetness to these yummy popsicles. All right, I think that's plenty. Look at, whoa, that's so heavy. Come on back here. Remember that next step that we do? Yeah, she taught us that you put the bucket, whoa, right here. And take the big blender. Whoa! Whoa! And we blend it up. Here we go. Whoa! All right, now it's all mixed up. Wait a second, though. We need the magic tool. This is a giant whisk. Woohoo! Check this out. Alrighty, it's adding some color. <laughs> okay, let's put this right over here and then we can bring this up and grab this pitcher. Remember from earlier? We need to scoop some out. 
Oh, oh, I am so excited. Pour some in. Let's grab another scoop. Okay, here we go. Okay, whoa! All right, I think that's plenty. So let's give it a shake. Okay, yes, these are gonna be so yummy. And let's take these sticks. Wow, that's a lot of popsicle sticks. <laughs> Put them right in there. Oh, perfect. Okay, now we need to bring it to the cooling station. Oh, here we go. Set it down. Woo, we did it. All right, now remember what we had to do earlier? It's gonna take a long time. So we get a dance while we wait. Must be ready. Let's check them out. Woohoo! All right. Whoa, I am so excited. Right. Hey, we yeah. gotta drain them. I can't wait to see the ingredients you use. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Whoa. The nice and come. loose. <gasps> Whoa! Look at them! Whoa! My two favorite colors! Yeah! Check them out. Blue and orange. Shall we try them? Yeah. Mmm. Do you like them? These are delicious, Flippy. You know what? You need to take those outside and go sell some pops. Mm, awesome. All right. Let's go try some. Sell some popsicles. <laughs> popsicles, popsicles. Who wants a popsicle? <laughs> I love popsicles, and that was so much fun learning about how to make popsicles with you at Mom and Pop Shop in Costa Mesa, California. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy! Good job! Well, see you later! Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm painting. Yeah, I'm actually painting just a regular cardboard box. Check it out. See, I took this cardboard box and I'm painting it. Do you know what I'm painting and making? I'm actually gonna make a lemonade stand. Yeah, I love lemonade. It's so yummy. But a lemonade stand isn't used just to drink your own lemonade. It's so then you can sell lemonade to others. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing that you have to do is make a very good looking lemonade stand. So then everyone will want to come try your lemonade. So now that it's all painted, I have these yellow triangle ribbons. <laughs> and if I put them on here, on the top, it will spark some more customers. <laughs> okay, let's put some tape right here. There we go. Wow. All right. You see these yellow triangles? Yeah. What is the color yellow that you can think of? Lemonade! <laughs> also, the sun is the color yellow. Okay, here we go. And then we actually have a little bit more of this. Wow. Have you ever tried lemonade before? It's really tasty. It's weird because if you just eat a normal lemon, it's really sour. Oh. <laughs> but if you add a lot of water and then some sugar, it'll sweeten it right up and make a nice refreshing drink. Okay. How about right there? Whoa, it looks so good. All right, we have our lemonade stand, blue and orange, my two favorite colors. We added the yellow banners to bring in more customers, but 
all these customers are gonna be like, what's Blippi doing? <laughs> so we need to tell them what we're doing. We're gonna be selling lemonade, one dollar. <laughs> so let's put this right here. Perfect. How does this look? Can you tell what I'm here for? Yeah, to sell lemonade. All right, now that we built the stand, now we need to make some lemonade and then we can sell it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, the first ingredient to lemonade is lemons. <laughs> there we go. So great that our friend has their very own lemon tree. That definitely saves us a lot of money when we calculate how much this lemonade cost us to make. Okay, all right, see this pitcher? We're gonna put a lot of water, sugar, lemons, and we're gonna spice it up with a little bit of raspberries to make raspberry lemonade. So the first thing that we need to do is to grab our lemons. Yeah, all right. And only grown-ups should use a knife. So we're going to first take a lemon, we're gonna cut it in half and use this device to squeeze out all of the juice. Just like this. Ready? Yeah, do you see all that lemon juice down there? Okay, let's do another. Here we go. Whoa, this thing is just pressing out all of the juice. <gasps> it looks so yummy. <laughs> I bet it'd be really sour though. <laughs> all right. I think that is plenty of lemon juice for our lemonade. All right, so we need to now pour this in our giant pitcher. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, it has a little bit of pulp, but that's okay. Okay, so the lemons were free. So this cost us zero dollars to make. <laughs> We're right on track. Okay, the next thing, let's add our water. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! a perfect amount. Okay, so the lemons were free, the water was 10 cents. Yeah, and now we need to sweeten it up because this is basically just like watered down lemon juice, which would be really tart and sour. <laughs> so what we have right here is sugar, yeah. That's a really tasty ingredient. You don't want to eat too much sugar though. But for the lemonade, we're gonna add six scoops. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there we go. Let's put that aside. Here we go. <laughs> This lemonade is complete. All you really need to make lemonade are lemons, water, and sugar. But we have that extra ingredient from earlier, remember? Raspberries. Yeah, we're gonna make raspberry lemonade. But before we add those, let's calculate how much this lemonade has cost us thus far. Well, the lemons were free because we have a great friend. <laughs> the water was 10 cents. And then the sugar was 40 cents. So right now we're at 50 cents for this whole pitcher. Whoa, all right. 
Now we can add our raspberries. Woo! Oh, oh, that silly one fell out. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna just use these. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! Looks like they float. Whoa! Raspberry lemonade. <laughs> okay, so now our total cost, let's calculate. So earlier it was 50 cents. And these raspberries cost me 50 cents from the grocery store. So 50 cents plus 50 cents is $1. Wow, this whole pitcher cost us $1. All right, let's put in some ice <laughs> to chill it down so then we can go and sell it. The ice was free because our friend also has a freezer full of ice. So now that we have nice cold lemonade, raspberry lemonade, we can go and sell it. I think there's about eight cups in here and our cost is $1. So eight cups, if we sell them for $1, would be $8. And if we minus $1, that's $7. Whoa, we're gonna make $7. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. We built this amazing lemonade stand. We made some tasty lemonade. Yeah, now it's time to sell some lemonade. Here we go. Lemonade, lemonade. Who wants some lemonade? Oh, I'd love some lemonade. Oh, okay. How are you doing today? Good, I'm a little thirsty. Ooh, really? Well, it looks like I might have something just for you. Oh, fantastic. How here. much is it? It is one dollar. One dollar. I got that right here. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. What kind is this? This is not normal lemonade. It is raspberry lemonade, my favorite. I can't wait to try, thank you. All right, see you later. Bye. Did you see that? You and I just made our very first lemonade sale. Good job. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about business, how to make lemonade with you, and having fun along the way. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. All right, time to sell some more lemonade. <laughs> lemonade.